There are 63 national parks in the United States and 423 national park sites. The territory encompasses more than 84 million acres and houses some of America's greatest natural wonders. And to top it all off, about 300 million visitors are attracted to these parks every year. To access the parks, you need to purchase a park pass. And at the end of the video, I'll show you how you can purchase your tickets in person, by phone, or online. But for now, you may have questions about your options, the costs, what these passes allow, and so forth. So let's address these questions right away. Where can the pass be used? The passes are valid at more than just the national parks or national park sites. In fact, they are valid at more than 2,000 federal recreation sites where an entrance or amenity fee is charged. The pass is good at the following agencies listed directly on the screen. How do you show a park pass when the site does not have an entrance station? At federal recreation sites that do not have an entrance station, you need to display your pass or show proof of pass ownership to compliance officers by one of the two following methods. A hang tag enables the pass to be hung or displayed on a rear view mirror or displayed on your dash with the signature side display. If you own a convertible or a motorcycle, you don't want your park pass dangling around for someone to steal. In such cases, a free decal is available to attach directly to the vehicle. Can you purchase a pass at a federal recreation site with a credit card? The National Park Service was established way back in 1916 and their technology hasn't advanced much beyond that year. However, we have some big news as most, but not all, sites now accept credit cards. Bringing cash is always a good idea though and recommended by the Ancient Park Service. You can, of course, purchase tickets online too and we'll deal with that in just a moment. What passes are available and what do they cover? Here's a quick summary of each of the available park passes with the United States National Park Service. The annual pass costs $80 and anyone 16 years or older can purchase one. The lifetime senior pass is quite the deal for $80 a US citizen or permanent resident can purchase one of these and they're valid for the lifetime of the pass owner. The annual senior pass is another option and this annual pass costs $20. The access pass is free for a lifetime for U.S. citizens and permanent residences with documentation of a permanent disability. The volunteer pass is free and is earned with 250 or more hours of volunteer service in public lands. The military pass is a new addition to park passes and this pass is free for a lifetime to Gold Star families, veterans, and current U.S. military. The fourth grade pass is free of charge and this pass is available to every fourth grade child in the United States and is valid through the duration of the fourth grade year and throughout the following summer. The great thing about this pass is that it includes all passengers in a private vehicle. Purchasing a national park ticket is relatively easy. You can buy a ticket in person at a national park or national forest service location you can buy a ticket by phone between the hours of 8 a.m. and 4 p.m. Mountain Time, or you can buy a ticket online. If you have any additional questions about the national parks or ticketing, and I'm sure you do, please check out their website. For more videos on our incredible national parks, please subscribe.